Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, a morning review of the European markets for Thursday, trading the 22nd of June 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at Google Play and the Apple App Store and also at www.tradesignal.com. Okay, so let's start off with the Asian markets. Nikkei down slightly, uh, Hang Seng, Shanghai down slightly, nothing major. Okay, uh, more or less flat, if anything. Okay. Uh, especially given the fact that we have the Nasdaq potentially uh, hitting new high, well, certainly breaking out, not hitting new highs, but certainly uh, uh, breaking higher, whilst the DAX is certainly lagging to a large extent. Now, um, very strange relationship there, so we'll see whether or not that lasts and uh, whether it can actually uh, continue. Now, again, the uh, old markets are really in focus, and uh, the market certainly seems to be fixated on that. Uh, the uh, decline in crude certainly is hurting equities globally and is hurting risk sentiment. Okay, now Asian markets, again, like I said, traded more or less flat. Now let's look at the actual fundamentals in terms of uh, the um, price action today. Overnight, BOJ, uh, Mr. Iwata, certainly did sound dovish. Uh, CHF this morning, trade balance certainly coming in uh, on the uh, stronger side uh, in terms of Let's just look at the uh, rest of the data. You have the French business climate confidence certainly coming in on the weaker side. Uh, European economic bulletin, uh, nothing of any major real market moving news there. Uh, jobless claims are looking forward to in the US later on. Then we have Canadian retail sales. House price index from the US, Mr. Powell, Fed member speaking. US uh, European consumer confidence as well later on. Then we had Kansas Fed. And then Miss uh, Forbes certainly speaking. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there with regards to uh, Forbes, especially uh, given the fact that Mr. Haldane yesterday certainly sounded the uh, hawkish rhetoric. So it certainly seems to be uh, a seesaw type of uh, reaction uh, thus far. And obviously Brexit talks are ongoing too. Now let's look at the actual technical picture now where we stand, uh, especially given the fact that we have the route in oil. Now let's just bring the chart of oil first and foremost. Oil prices, from my perspective, especially on the weekly chart now, you are into horizontal support. Certainly looking to potentially bounce here. 15-minute chart, no lower lows. Certainly does bode well. Is bullish for the oil market. And you are now looking for a potential reversal rally, from my perspective. It certainly seems to be uh, overdone. Uh, okay, so again, look for a potential reversal in the price of oil. Okay, now in terms of the uh, German DAX, let's just bring that First and foremost, German DAX, you can clearly see a double bottom is certainly being put in here horizontal support at this 12700 zone certainly looking to hold a daily chart at the moment you're certainly uh, in this key diagonal trend line that certainly is holding yesterday's bombing tail certainly being a challenged at present the 10 minute chart like i said horizontal support on the german dax you have two unfilled gaps above now you have unfilled gap at 12770 and then you have resistance at 12,800 and unfilled gap at 12,815. So they're the two levels or, or two gaps that I'm certainly expecting to close above, especially given the fact that we've had uh, the uh, the actual uh, growth talked up in the Eurozone by several uh, EU members. Okay, so again, certainly is bullish. ECB prior, UK has committed a major mistake. That's regarding the, uh, the actual uh, Brexit scenario. Uh, ongoing economic expansion in Euro is increasing resiliently. Uh, has broadened across sectors and countries, so again, certainly bullish. Also, with regards to DUP, asking PMA uh, certainly will be able to reach a deal with Northern Ireland's DUP party to support government, so certainly confident and looking for a potential deal by Thursday. So keep that on board, keep that on board, uh, keep that uh, uh, in the background. Okay, so German DAX double bottom, certainly looking to bounce there. Looking at the French CAC now, French CAC certainly is reversing, has been under pressure given the fact that Macron's key aides certainly are quitting government and again that certainly has hurt the uh, the actual uh, mr macron's ability to actually govern to a large extent but we are now coming into horizontal support so looking for double bottoms certainly to hold here on the french cap too FTSE 100 continues to slide due to weak oil prices but i think that's overdone now from my perspective my bias is certainly long my trade is certainly long as well especially given the daily chart now is into support okay so again looking to potentially bounce on the FTSE We've had a, a, a quite a significant drop from that uh, lower high, uh, obviously led by uh, lower oil prices. But given the fact that the Nasdaq certainly has remained uh, stellar, has uh, certainly uh, showed strength. Okay, that certainly is a, a good sign for the uh, for, to reverse as well. Okay, so 
FTSE 100 has an unfilled gap at 7445, 7450. So again, looking for that to close. If we continue to rally, you're looking at 7470 on the FTSE above. So again, they're the potential targets on the FTSE. Looking at the Euro stocks now, Euro stocks again, 60 minute chart showing you you're into double bottom, horizontal support. Uh, 10 minute chart certainly selling is overdone here, and we are looking for a bounce. Daily chart again showing support. And looking to potentially move higher so that's the current status quo at present with regards to uh, european indices my expectation is that we are now looking to rally on the back of oil as you can see the chart of copper as well is showing you resilience potential inverted head and shoulders formation here on the chart of copper and therefore looking to potentially bounce on copper and uh, looking to potentially move higher key resistance zones outlined above as well so the copper chart certainly is showing you some type of resilience, especially with this bounce higher. And we are now looking to move higher, so bear that in mind. Okay, so I think that's a good summation of European equities. The conclusion really is that we are now looking to move higher and the back of oil prices stabilizing. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.